Yay, we get to play with Pink Petunia. Her last name's a flower, right? Amy Rose? Yeah, Amy Rose. She does look like a Petunia, though. A Petunia. She looks like her name would be Petunia. petunia. Or Tulip. Or a Tulip. A pink Tulip. Her hair looks like a Tulip. The the flower Tulip always makes me think of Tulip, that game. Oh, yeah, I always wanted to play Tulip. I couldn't ever find a copy, and now a copy is like a hundred dollars. Wasn't it on PS2? It was only on PS2. I, maybe PSN Store? I, I can't remember. I just remember being really bummed, because I really wanted to play it and I couldn't ever find it. Because, you know, that was back in the olden days when it was way harder to get games online. Mm-hmm. Unless your mom would let you get it off eBay or something. And, uh, even back then, the game was still expensive. Oh, I just want Sonic. Nobody yeah. I'm admiring how bad Amy's voice actress is. Hey, I like her voice in uh, Adventure. Well, yes, her voice is great. I think her voice fits Amy. But as far as the acting is concerned, I am not so sure. You realize 90% of the time acting is directed. Yeah. So even a good voice actor wouldn't sound Yeah, well exactly. I'm not saying directed. she's a bad voice actress. I'm just saying she's not doing a good job here. I think it it's It may cheesy. not necessarily be her fault, but... Yeah, but I mean, is it much worse than anything you usually hear in the 90s? No, it's not. But it's still objectively bad. Yeah. He scared oh, me. Oh, he's got some grabby hands. He scared me so bad when I was little. You Maybe got- get Jobby over here to deal with those grabby hands. No, unless they swivel. Unless they swivel. Yikes! <laughs> you almost ran me over, creep. Oh no! Let's get out of here. So you run into an enclosed building. That sounds reasonable. I see no burgers. This shop must be closed. Now you see, I know other people would say, hmm, why didn't it see her go into the store? But this is a stupid robot made by Eggman, so uh, I wouldn't believe it to have uh, remembrance of objects that used to be there and are now Object permanence. There we go. As soon as it's out of sight, it doesn't exist anymore. I always know what object permanence is, and then when I have to actually use the phrase, then I forget the word. Mm -hmm. Isn't that how it always goes? Yeah. I think we have to go to Twinkle Park. I That sounds reasonable. So after she jumps, she pulls out her hammer? No, it's like she it's builds there up sometimes. enough speed. Okay. She builds up enough speed. I always liked her Pico Pico hammer. Although I've never understood, like, how is that like a weird like Japanese trope? There's so many like Japanese like schoolgirl characters who have a big what happened? hammer. What happened? Uh, maybe I got on top of a car? Maybe. Cream! Maybe there's an invisible. Oh yeah, that was cream. Cream and sugar. Sugar and cream. Cute couples get in for free. Uh, so Amy not? and... How is this not what I was supposed to do? Well, I think maybe you have to run into Sonic first. Oh wait, uh, we run into him in the casino. Casino! Yeah, so, okay, we go to the casino. Something good might happen, or you might lose all your money. Because I'm not joking. Amy's uh, playthrough is like 90% cutscenes. Mm-hmm. And like 10% gameplay. She's got like three stages. Mm-hmm. Oh, there he is! The uh, man then, of yeah, the hour. That, that sounded like she was, uh, she was really looking to meet Sonic. In some ways, the Sonic fandom is just like Amy. Hey, hey, what are you saying about me? <laughs> what are you saying? I never wanted to kiss Sonic. I just thought he was cool. I just like omelets. <laughs> what? I just, I mean, I thought Shadow was cooler, but I still never wanted to kiss him. That's right. just weird. So if you had to pick one 
thing from the Sonic, like, one thing that you like about the Sonic series as a whole, what it, what would it be? Uh, wait, there's there's too much. I'm not sure I can figure out the answer to the no question. Yeah. Are currently in service. Um... Uh, okay, so while wait. you're thinking about it, for me, it would probably be the character designs. Okay, okay, character designs, yes. Specifically, um, adventure. <laughs> One yeah, two. like adventure because form. Like, I not don't, classic I, designs. Like I, I can't stand how they look in a, a Sonic 06 and mm -hmm. onward. Like especially Sonic, his quills are way too long in 06, and then they've overcorrected it by forces and made them way too short. Yeah, that's true. Like I know I don't want to get into the whole arms thing. Oh, they changed the color of his arms or his eyes are green, and that's a problem. But like quill shape changes his silhouette. Yeah, it changes his silhouette, which is a really big deal. I like them being like this length. They're not too short and they're not too long. They're just right. Mm -hmm. it's like a good bowl of bear porridge. Yep. Or a bowl of cereal. Not too much milk. It's hard to do that. It's hard, yeah. to, it's hard to get the right balance of cereal what are we and milk. For? Yeah. Legitimately, I do really like the character designs of Sonic, of Sonic games. Like, it's just, it's a really good mix of, like, cool and cute, in a way. And it's like, obviously I'm not a furry, and you don't have to be a furry to like anthropomorphic designs. But I just, I do find it strange that my favorite thing about the Sonic series are the character designs. I'm not a furry. I don't like the furry ones. Mm. Although I do like making I just, fun of furries. I just like anthropomorphic animals, but that doesn't make me furry. I just like omelets. <laughs> okay, so how do her stages work again? Run away from the robot and do thing to get out of stage. And that's just hitting all the switches? Right. Well, this is part of the stage, excuse me. Well, yeah, I know it's part of the stage, that's why you're doing it. But what you're doing is you're hitting those switches? Oops, yeah. Okay, okay move, Amy! Uh, is the controller unplugged? M nope. M Amy! Okay. Huh. That was really weird. Okay, maybe it did come unplugged. I tried to plug it back in. Yeah, we had to use a new controller, like, cord thing, and this one doesn't seem to be connecting nearly as well. Um, death. Alright, so is that, like, to do that hammer jump sort of thing, are you... You have to have the hammer out. She has to be fast enough. So she to has to be the... fast enough, but you still just jump, or is it like you, the You swing button? it. You swing the okay. hammer. Her stages are legitimately actually kind of creepy. Uh, yeah, the robot used to scare the crap out of me. Mm -hmm. I hated being chased by that thing. Yeah. And see, it just goes to show this it's all right about execution terrified me. and performance. Uh, oh, I don't remember how this goes. Wait. I'm, I'm having what? trouble. What? Why are you moving I don't, so slow? Because the, the controls work weird here, and I, I don't remember how to fix it. It's supposed to be weird. But I don't. Oh. Oh, because it's like in a mirror. Yeah. So it's like Amy doesn't really know where Amy? to go. Amy! Go! See, that's kind of cool. Like, obviously, most people would rag on the game like, for that. Like, see, there's a hole there, so don't step on that thing. Mm hmm. Ugh. Yeah, like, most people would rag on the game for that, for the bad controls in that section, but honestly, like, that just makes sense. Amy as a character is having trouble seeing and figuring out what to, what to do. So, that's replicated for the player's point of view by having confusing controls. Yeah, I mean, it's not always bad to have bad controls. The, the game just has to be built around it. Yeah, like Silent Hill 2. And it really, well, any Silent of those Hill old, in general. Yeah, like any of those old school uh, horror games. They have bad controls, but it's bad on purpose. But you're playing a schlubby, boring person who's the, like doesn't. Yeah, you're not playing an action Chad like Nathan Drake or someone like that. Like Ow. James Sutherland barely knows how to get out of bed, so of course he's gonna stumble around Silent Hill. Yeah, he can't even, even hold a stick properly without having to wind it up forever. Mm. Whew. So that, and I know a lot of people goal. love the uh, making fun of that excuse of, 
oh, well, if it's designed poorly on purpose, it's still designed poorly. And to an extent, they are right. They're, they're right if the game doesn't, you know, have an Isn't built for around it. it. Yeah. And also, that brings up just the question in general. Usually, whenever I see people use that kind of argument, they're usually the people who subscribe that games should always be as fun and exciting as possible. And that's fine if you like those kinds of games, but I subscribe to the belief that a video game does not have to be fun. No. It does not have to be, like, something that you legitimately just goof off around with. Kind of like with, you know, art in general. Some paintings make you feel happy by looking at them, and some make you feel sad. Video some games can you, do the same thing. And some make you feel like this should never have been created to begin with. Yeah, exactly. And I think there's room for that in video gaming as well. Games don't have to be fun if the message that it's trying to portray is something that is not fun, then the game should not be fun to play through either. And obviously that is going to turn off a lot of people, but that's fine, it's art. You can't appeal to everyone. You can't appeal to everyone, so just understand the audience you are trying to go for and mm -hmm. make it as good as you can for not only them, but yourself. Exactly. Because I think that's one of the hardest things, is balancing critical feedback from people as well as making sure you're making what you want to make. Because um, and, and, and when you're getting advice from a lot of people, it is becomes very hard, no matter how open you want to be to new ideas, it becomes very hard to make sure you're still staying true to what you ultimately want to create while taking valuable feedback of what to improve or not. Mm. Why not? Like... I know a lot of big companies mess that up all the time with like those focus testing groups. Yeah, the like, focus testing groups. It seems like a good things. idea to get the opinions of a wide group of people, but again, if your game's not trying to appeal to a wide group of people, then you're going to get a lot of responses that are negative. And yeah, on the surface, it seems like, wow, most people hate this. Maybe we need to change it. When you don't need to change it, you just need to change who your target audience is. Yeah, and if your target audience isn't nine to five schlubs who barely have an hour a week to play a game in between children and work and stuff, then. I pity you. Love is not part of your program. You are missing something good. What? Higher group of. <laughs> Where did uh, words go? I was looking at Yeah, I was going to say, like, I started focusing on the cutscene, because I know this part is actually kind of interesting, and then all of a sudden I'm just like, what were we talking about? Because I'm just mesmerized by Duckbot's dance. The oh, illogical. Yeah, he's always illogical. shit like Illogical. He's always shit like that. I really have to let some of this oil out. I have to pee. He's letting us go because the bird spoke to him. Yeah. In the metaphysical sense. In the metaphysical sense. Or it could just be the fact that since Eggman's bots are always run by captured critters, maybe there's a bird inside and it's secretly influencing the programming somehow. Well, that's what I was alluding to. Oh, is that actually the case? Maybe. Maybe. You don't remember? No, not really. You don't care at all. It's Sonic. Just pretend to Just use the excuse. It's Sonic. You just pretend to to humor me. I care a little bit. Like, I cared enough to remember look that this down, cutscene was important. Look down upon my enjoyment of Sonic. No. It's dangerous here. It's dangerous here. You Take do, this. You do a little and bit. he just gives but I want, a sword. But I really want to remind you right now that you unironically enjoy Digimon World 3. I do. <laughs> I, I don't have anything to defend myself. I have no justification. Just, yeah. I That's like saying enjoy. you like Sonic 03 so, on 06. Yeah, I'm sorry, kind of. it's that bad. Yeah, it is. 
Pirate now Point imagine Dynasty someone War. unironically liking Digi Sonic 06, and that's how what it means for you to like Digimon World 3. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, they'll they'll get to see what that's all about very quickly. Okay, are, does the game start? The game is supposed to start. Are you supposed to hit the Sonics? Yes. Yeah. Because it's Eggman's game, so he's oh, the good yeah. guy. By the way, that took me a while as a kid, because as a kid, I thought you had to hit the Eggmans mm -hmm. for a while. So I didn't this... I didn't read the robot. I is this read the supposed robot. to be like a training thing that like yeah. Eggman puts his robots through or I something? Get... Oops. Yeah, I guess so. So the first few times I lost because I thought you were supposed to hit Eggman. I didn't think to. Yeah, because that makes sense from like you know the. Yeah, but you know player. when you're d when you're a dumb five year old who barely understands what video games are. The Behold warrior feather. Warrior feather. Now, now we can do the attack. fun thing. Press and hold the action button and move the directional path. So is this her circles. equivalent to like a spin dash? Mm-hmm. Well, no, it's just this. Is that useful for anything? No. No? Okay. That's fine. I don't think you ever need <laughs> to use it, ever, but... Is it because her stages are, like, just all about av avoiding the robot thing, right? Yes. Go through the hot shelter. Mmm. Sounds toasty. This is the hot shelter. Yeah. Alright, there's one stage after this. Okay, I this stage scared me so bad because you have to um and hold this handle and do this and uh Spin. crank 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 it, it up, uh, freaked crank me it out with the robot when I was mm -hmm. little because I didn't like having to stop and let him get near me. Damn, there's more robots. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, I remember this. I remember this uh, stage in Sonic's playthrough. This the uh, this one gave us a lot of trouble. Oh, there's the robot. Yeah, see again, it just goes to show it's not about how things look. It's about the execution. And I really feel like this stage does a good job at making you feel scared of the robot. Yeah. Because of the ways that it appears and stuff. Okay, that's enough. So much for being hot there. There's not like a lot of steam or anything. Alright, that one floods the room, which looked really cool when I was little. Yeah, graphically it looks really good for the time. A lot better than Mario 64's okay, grab the water. Thing. There we go. Crank it. Crank it up. Okay, I don't understand. There. Is there a rhythm? There's probably one right, one, right three. Oh, sorry. I didn't read. Reading is hard. I'm sorry. That's why we're doing YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. That was fast. Yeah. He scripted to just mm -hmm. break out there. He's like a monkey. He does the whole chest beating thing. I think he is, like... Wait. Did you trick him? There we go. I guess you tricked him. I guess I did. Got I guess, him. I guess I'm smart enough to have somehow accomplished that. Run through the vents like a rodent. I guess she is technically a rodent. Hedgehogs are rodents, right? I believe they are somewhere in that family of animals. Oh, jeez, the music here is awful. Because it's not even really music, it's just grinding of engines and gears. I haven't eh, heard you it. You can actually hit him? I didn't know you can hit him. I think the controller keeps getting unplugged. It is. The and I don't know why. The connection is just so bad. Was that invincibility? No. No. I thought it looked like a little sparkle thing. Well, I didn't grab it if it was. Okay. And it's like tick tock clock. More Mario 64 references. Boingy. Boingy. Check plane. Kind of. A bunch of rings. 
Too bad she doesn't have a homing attack. Yeah. I really feel like there's more you can do with Amy. No, 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 no. Other than dance. Okay, we reverse the gears, but uh, what's the point of that? To go this way. Oh. Okay, you gonna let me on? Maybe. I hate those little bouncy spike ball things. Those are annoying. Yeah. He thinks the robots is about to appear. Oh! Mm. You're not. It definitely for sure looked like that robot was gonna appear. Ooh. Spooky. I felt the pit in my stomach. Come on. Oh, there he is. Yep. What is with Sega and monkeys? I don't know. Sega loves monkeys. You had all the ape escape, and then you had the banana blitz stuff, and then... Yeah, you see all the monkey robots in Sonic. I don't know, monkeys just feel very Sega. -y. People like monkeys. I want to like monkeys, but for some reason I just don't. They can be a little funny. I like them more than They can be sometimes. Like, I like Chimchar. I don't know why, but I don't like Chimchar. I like Mon Mon. I think it's just because he has fire on his butt, and there's not like anything Yeah, the tail's pretty it. lazy. It's, it's old school Pokemon design where it's like, well, it's a fire type, so it's gotta have fire on it. Okay, pick it. Pick it up, Amy! I lift things up and put them down. That's Amy. not the right spot. Amy. That's the only blue here, Amy! <laughs> There's a slight bit of magnetism to help you out. Very little. Oh! Uh, Alright, uh, that bird thing that's flying around is starting to get a little annoying, though. I can barely see it. For some I reason, it keeps distracting I completely forgot it was me. even there. Uh That's it? Wow, he's so weak. He literally just I don't yeah, I don't know I don't know why. You. I was scared of it when I was little because it's really stupid. Wait, what's up here? That looked like one of those crankier things. Oh shoot! Why Controller is it, again. why I'm not even moving it? I my hands are completely still. I know, it's like I said, I think we've either got a bad cord or a bad connection. Probably the connection. It's the, a connection because it's in the port. Yeah, the USB slot that we plug the controller into. It's uh, it's seen some some days. It's well, I'm a lot of... I'm talking about the controller where it plugs into the controller. Oh, I don't know. I mean, that might be it, but I think it's like the USB where it plugs into the computer. Well, then it wouldn't go back in when I jiggle the controller. That's true. Right? I would think. All right, the other two are hidden. In the hidden? Yes, they're like up there on the rafts. Oh. oh, well, at least there's a spring. That's helpful. Uh, oh, that, I guess it puts you right where you need to go. Can you like throw it? Yeah. But I don't feel like it. Okay. Okay, come on, game. That's close enough. Why, why won't she pick it up? Does she? Can she only pick it up from certain angles? I think she can pick it up from the side. That's dumb. Wait, that's another one? Yep. Huh. Did this robot really pass Eggman's high score test? Because it doesn't seem like it should. <laughs> Story I mean, of all it, of Eggman's It can't robots. even hit anything that's walking slowly right in front of it. It's got to log on, you see? Her goal things are balloons? Yep. You didn't notice that in Twinkle Park? I guess so, subconsciously, maybe. Yeah. But I just thought it was like a Twinkle Park thing. I didn't think that was literally just what all of her goals look like. And now we'll get a few more cutscenes and then one more stage, and that's literally it. <laughs>